In this video, we'll discuss how to create a model-driven app in the solution and we'll add the page to the model-driven app and also we'll work with the data vest forms in the model-driven application. So for that, in the previous session, we are created a solution, so which is a demo solution. So once you create any solution and few objects will create there, one is apps, chatbots, cloud flows, and also associated tables, uh, you can see here in the objects. If you want to create any app or if you want to create chatbot or table, anything to the solution. So in the menu bar, we can see option name called new. Here we have a couple of options uh, related to automation, related to chatbot, dashboard, report, security, tables, and also we have apps. When you click this one, you can able to see a uh, canvas app as well as model driven app if you want to add a canvas app to the solution you can add from here if you want a model driven app to the applic to the solution you can add from here and also you can create a page and you can add to the solution as well so i'm trying to create a model driven app when we click this one it will open another window and uh, another pop-up as well to you know enter the model driven application name so i'm trying to implement a contact management system so i'm giving a name as cms and uh, if you if you see the description here this is always optional if you go to advanced you can able to see another option named it as use component from a custom solution so which means if you already have a solution you want to use any components from the existing solution you can use from here if you click on this information you can able to see when selected build your app components and sitemap from an existing solution so if you have an existing solution which contains any functionality you want to utilize that in this application you can able to uh, use from here if you select this one now you can able to see the option here from here you can able to select the solution uh, which is already there so we have a couple of solutions these are the default ones common data service default solution you can able to see the other as well uh, but if you don't want to utilize that and you can uncheck and you can create a new one so once we have multiple solutions available so then uh, we'll try with the we'll try with this option as well i'm clicking create once i click create it will create a model driven app in the solution and will will show other options here so now here we have pages concept and we have data we have automation we'll discuss this one a bit later now uh, we'll see here this is an empty model driven application now here you can able to see start by adding a page to your navigation and uh, in the right side you can able to see this uh, name and the solution which is a demo solution and the app name we have given is cms you if you want to change you can able to change a description is optional now here we have a icon which is a default icon uh, which present for the application and if you want to use any other thing you can use use web resource concept if you if you click this one select a icon you can able to see the icons are available like this so these are the existing one available and still you have an option to upload an icon from your local system but so this supports uh you know this kind of like um you know 16 by 16 and 32 by 32 um images only that we'll discuss in the upcoming session where uh, exactly these icons will appear so if you want to use any of this power pages icon or any any other these type of things you can able to use if you click apply and this will be applicable here so app title preview you can able to see this cms and this is icon and if you go to advanced settings we will have a couple of other settings also so which is a unique name and which is created with the, our publisher RITS underscore CMS, which is a model of an app name and uh, welcome page is available. So there is existing welcome pages also available uh, are, and also you can able to create HTML file and you can you can able to use that as a welcome page. So this one also will discuss in the upcoming videos. So once you create or once you, you know, create this model driven app and it will be like this, either you can add a page from here or you can click this new option When you click this new option and you can able to see which is a new page and we have total five options here. One is Dataverse table and uh, if you if you select this Dataverse table and we can able to work with the views, we can able to work with the farms and also you can able to see that. Uh, information here this option gives you two pages for each table and you get a view 
and which display the rows and columns of the table and you also get a form which lets people interact with the table by editing existing rows or by creating a new ones and if you click a dashboard and if you want to uh, design a dashboard with a collection of you know charts by chart or a, a couple of charts are available in the dashboard so you can create a dashboard with this chart structure using any any one of the dataverse table and if you click url if you want to build the navigation uh, with using urls you can able to you know, create a url something like this navigation you can add to the app and when you click this web resource web, web resource are very useful in the model driven application if you want to work with uh, any uh, scripting language or html pages you have to use this web resource concept which means you can able to uh, design or you can able to uh, you know inject the client side code in the app using web resource concept and this one also we can able to use in the forms as well in the dataverse tables that we'll discuss in the upcoming videos if you go to the custom page and here you can able to design the custom page using uh, out of the box components and uh, and also you can able to drag and drop the user controls on also into the page that also will discuss in the upcoming videos now we'll try to create with the data was table and once you select this one if you click next and here it will ask either you can select the existing table which is already created or you want to create a new table you can able to create a new table from here also and it will give you an option to enter the display name plural name and uh, the schema and uh, record ownership also you can able to define so i already created a table for it so the, uh, for, that's why i'm selecting this select existing table so we have plenty of tables are available here you can able to search now i have created a contract management uh, table so i'm searching for it and i got it which is contract management if i click add it will add the table into the model driven application in the navigation in the navigation if you if you see here we have two things one is contract management views if i select like this and before selecting you can able to see the display options one is the content type which we used as a table and you can able to see other options which we saw just before and uh, if, you, if you click on this table and you can able to see the number of tables which are available in the dataverse if you want to change you can still able to change and the title is contract management which is a plural name and then icon again which is a default icon for this one and if you want to use any web resource you can able to use and this is a sub area id which is created by default and if you want to change you can able to change this one and if you go to the advanced settings you can able to see the privileges the table privileges and miscellaneous privileges you can able to see and you can able to see the language and you can able to see um, other options as well sku and client related options are available so these advanced options will work in the upcoming videos now we have two things here one is views another one is forms if i hit this one and uh, i can able to see all the views which are available to this contract management so these are the default views default view of the table so one is a active view another one is inactive view another one is you know advanced find view and we have associated view we have um, uh, quick find active contracts management and finally we have look of view total six default views will create by default and that is appearing here if you go to the second option here and uh, if you click the second option now you can able to see the forms which are available so now you can able to see three farm names are with the information but one is a main farm so which is used to enter the data into it even the quick view farm also. so we have quick view farm and card farm so this we already discussed in the previous video so these three default uh, farms are displaying here and uh, when you when you go to the table if i if i try to open this one in the next window i'm copying this one and then paste here and if i open and if i if i go back to this solution or if i go back to tables from here we can able to search this one which is a contract management and if i click this one and here also we can able to see the forms if i hit this one i can able to see this and uh, 
uh, if I click this one, it will go into an edit mode. But if you want to add the data into that table, so you can able to do it from here. So from here, you can able to add. And if you click this one, if I click new row using form and it will open the default form here. Also, you can able to see the contract name and the owner. So if you go to this uh, edit option also here, also you can able to see the contract name and the owner option. If you want to edit this one, you can edit from the table as well as you can edit from this model driven app as well. If I click this one and it is asking save this changes before you list before you leave and I'm saving this and I'm clicking continue. It will it will redirect to this place and this from this place we can able to edit the farm. Now you can able to see power app and it is showing as a farm. Now you can able to see the columns also available here and uh, here we have two tabs and before discussing complete about this form first we'll try to add the columns into it now here now it is in the one column section so you can able to see if i go if i go back to tree view if i select this one if i select this general one and uh, which is in a one column layout and which also have a options like two column layout and three column layout and which is a uh, general name I can give so I can able to change the layout like uh, two column so if I go to a uh, two column and I can able to see another section here and if I change this one to one column and I can able to see one column section here now so we'll change it later and before doing that now I want to I want to add the columns here so here uh, we have plenty of columns are available so one is approver and contract status is available and start date is available and vendor name is available uh, simple thing is if, if if you click on this one it automatically adds here and also if you want to drag and drop you can able to drag and drop as well for example i have this cost estimate now i want to put this one in the bottom i can drag and drop and uh, we do have other options like um, you know, start date if I want to keep it after this contract name and I can keep it here you can drag and drop the uh, you can drag and drop the columns or you can directly hit like uh, there is um, something like I have created um, another field as well okay now we have we don't have status we have start date vendor name and cost estimate and uh, I have created other column name called contract status if I click this one it will also add here and I, I already created one approver as well so if I select the approver also comes here and um, uh, we do have owning business unit and um, these are the system columns and um, yeah this would be enough we have almost three six seven columns are available so this column appearing here when i uh, save and publish this and before working anything here i'm simply save and publish this one it will take a couple of seconds now it is published and once it is published and we can play and we can able to see this one from the app as well and also if if i go here now now we are here and uh, i'm clicking done i'll refresh this one or if you refresh this one also now you can able to see uh, the farm which is a with a contract name start date and contract status approver vendor name and owner and cost estimate you can you can able to see the changes which we did now if you want to add anything here for example if if you want to add a section now i want you want to keep some of the columns there you can able to add a section to the farm as well so for that if you go here now you can able to see these options one is one column tab or two column tab or one column section and two column section if, if you add a tab tab will add here so if i click a one column tab now you can able to see the tab is added with a new section and if you go to the general you can able to see the existing one or if if you want to add a section you can able to add a section like this if i hit one column section the section will appear here and uh, you can able to give a name here like um 
<coughs> approver section you can give this approver section and uh, name I'm copying this one here now you can able to see the change in the section name now if you want to add the columns from here for example so this is approver section I now I want to keep this approver in this section I can drag and drop and also I want to keep the contract status also in the approver section I can able to drag and drop so when you are dragging when you are trying to the when you, when you are trying to drag and drop the controls are when you try to drag and drop the fields you can able to see the line here if you if you see the line and if you remove your or if you drag this here and this will come here and if you are trying to drag another place and you can able to see the line when you drop it and it will come there so this way you can able to create the sections in the form and uh, for example if you want to change this layout you can able to change this layout as well for example you already here here in this general and you can able to see two sections and in the general you don't want to keep a single column i want to keep it two columns you can able to keep the two columns and i already created this section and if i want this one here i can able to do that and this is not required we can able to delete this section now i have two sections so one is here another one is here so we have general section when you go to the general section the label of this section is hidden so if i unselect this one i can able to see the name as general if you don't like to keep this as a general you can able to change and now you can able to change the name of the section is contract information and uh, then that is the label which displays and uh, if you change the name and you can able to change the name as well so here we have couple of other options so if you want to hide the label of this one you can able to hide here and if you want to hide this one on the phone you can able to hide from here and if you want to complete hide of this section you can or if you want to lock the section you can able to do and also in <clears throat> in this section you want to make like um, you know two columns three columns you can able to make the two or three columns as well so which means in in the same in the same section you want to have two columns side by side you can able to use uh, if you want to have three columns four columns you can able to have in this section and and the same manner if you go to the complete uh, form here also you can able to change the layout we already discussed but two column layout and three column layout is available and column width column one width is 50 column two width is 50 so which is sharing 50 and 50 so we have lot of options in the form and lot of work to do with this and we have form fields we have components also if you want to work with the javascript libraries on the form you can able to work from here we do have business rules to manage the uh, to manage different kind of things it might be in a validation kind of things or you want to hide or show the controls based on some conditions you can able to do with the business rules and we do have farm settings as well these all uh, will discuss one after another in the upcoming videos